so excited. I have 20 minutes. This is so cool. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Whoa. <laughs> This is a very, I like the light in here. The light's cool. This is a really cool, um, that's the Detroit hat. There's Chicago. The light's like really cool in here. It's fun. Apartment. Yes, I would, I would rather stay here than be at some like dirty, smelly place where they say the reviews are like, <laughs> Like, oh, like, the the employee, like, stabbed me to death. Like, you know what I mean? Like, All right, let's actually <laughs> just get going so we have to get your card anyway. I know. Oh, my God, I'm getting, what is it, a CTA card? Well, it's a venture card. I'm getting, wait, what is it? Venture card? Venture. I'm getting a venture card. <laughs> and what does it say? Love is running home barefoot and I'm gonna leave. chocolate pudding and motel swimming pools, which I don't know how that's love, but whatever. So it's the second day in Chicago. It's my sister. This is so cool. So this is like, I don't know if Nancy's going to make it, but... I mean, she's not going to make it. I know, she's going to make it, but like, she's like in a really... <laughs> Never mind. Um, second day in Chicago. <laughs> And <laughs> I was told they were visiting in October now. October is like so far away. It's not That's bad. gonna be it's like two months from it's now. It's gonna be like so cold. Not really. Like it's only gonna really be gets, really cold. It only really gets cold after Christmas. Yeah. It's like Chicago right now. It's so cold. <laughs> Trump Tower is like that silver tower like coming up behind the brown one and I'm trying to get to Navy Pier but um still trying to find my way. That's like Trump Tower right there. It's like that silver tower. I'm still trying to find where Navy Pier is. Alright so I'm at, finally at Navy Pier and Trump Tower is like that little point behind that big tower. And this is, I don't know what this is, it's kind of a cool shape though. So yeah. Navy Pier. like the really like this really bomb like beef jerky but I figured out it was like four bucks I thought it was like 1.99 so I'm out like a couple bucks <laughs> but um I don't know that's like a cool place over there but um I don't know I'm checking it out it's probably like way better at night though it's kind of some bomb music right now it's kind of cool I don't know what's going on right now, but that's the Ferris wheel. And some like, I think 100th anniversary or something, and maybe here. Same playing some like really cool music. Like Shakespeare or something. And then that's Chicago. <laughs> I'm here and like all I could think about is 
how Melissa and Ryan like never worked together from the OC. Like I was watching the OC before I came to Chicago and I was like, oh my god, like they never they didn't make it together and I was like so sad. I don't know why I'm like randomly thinking about it, but I think it's like all this like blue water, but it's really like still like really cool, so Dude, like, I feel like so weird when, like, there's, like, couples and I'm just, like, like, walking by, like, randomly and I think, like, earlier, like, I was, like, chewing, like, I was biting off this beef, beef jerky and, like, all these couples were holding hands. I'm, like, the only, like, freaking like, savage in the whole place, but I'm in Chicago, so whatever Chicago can do to help me, that would be awesome. Like, I'm totally just gonna scrap like any idea of going to any attraction. I'm just gonna like experience Chicago for like what it is. Um, because like I'm not gonna pay like whatever money it is to get up on the sky deck or to go into Shed Aquarium. So I'm just gonna like I don't know. I'm gonna try to experience it my own way. So um, I'm gonna go to like some sort of dessert place and then pretty much take it from there. card is working oh my god I look kind of good right now the SD card is working I am I was so frustrated I was kept losing my way in Chicago I got really frustrated and then I was thinking about my life and then there's all these people that looked like my ex literally looked like my ex like dressed up in business suits and I just could not escape it and I'm just like help me but I had like I found this really cool place it's called like some sort of patisserie and cafe I think and then like I, I walked in it was really like nice and magical because I didn't know if I would be able to find some place because I kept trying to walk to find a certain place and it it kept saying like I was a minute away and then I would be like 10 minutes away because I would like turned on the wrong place it was like really dumb so <laughs> um I'm like having like a really hard time like I'm thinking about like I just today like I just realized how lost I felt like I just feel really lost like 
Like, I thought I would feel, like, free, and I thought I would feel, like, amazing. But, like, I feel like... I feel, like, more lost than ever. Like, I had all this freedom, and I just... I, I saw a bunch of things today, but, like, even with that, I was, like... I was, like, lost. Like, I was... I was, like, what is my life? Like... I'm just so confused right now, and, um, like, I look good, but I'm just confused. I'm just, like, I don't know what it's going to take for me to actually... Um, I don't, I don't know what it's going to take for me to like feel like I'm enough or like feel like I'm making it or like, I don't know what it's going to take, but I mean, I, I like went all around with myself and I just felt so, like, so alone, like, just really, just, like, like, I can be alone, but I'm just, like, I just feel, um, I feel like during my life, like, I pushed myself so, like, hard to, to always be different, to always do something else that I feel like I'm on this edge of, like, just being so far gone or something. I don't know. I'm like, I'm also supposed to be enjoying myself and I'm not enjoying myself. I've just been like thinking about my life and I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going to take for me to be happy. I don't even know. And I was thinking about that. I'm like, what is happiness? You know, um, I mean, I, I try to be there for the people that, like, I thought I cared for, and they're not there for me, and I don't know, like, what to do. But, um, it's crazy. So, like, on the way here, um, I was reading this book called She's Just Not That Into You, or I think that's what it is called. It's, like, by Greg Barrett and some Liz, some Liz person, and, um, Basically, the, the whole book is like telling you that the guy should, should approach you for the day and you shouldn't put like any work in. I mean, from the, the pages that I've read, um, like the intro and everything that I read, um, leading up to the main part of the book, like it's basically telling you that the guy needs, the guy knows you're there, <laughs> the guy knows that you exist, and the guy just either doesn't want you in a certain way or doesn't want you, and um, also said, like, you deserve someone that's actually going to ask you out, like, 
you deserve that and if he's not delivering then why would you want that in your life you know like you'd move on so yeah I get it and that's a really cool concept and it's a cool idea um It's been like really difficult for me to to trust people and to trust um, relationships and to trust people to do the right thing and to put trust in that because I have been let down several times and uh, even a, a psychic that I went to go see had told me that it told me that um, a bunch of people had let me down, and that's the truth. And um, I, uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to like change that. Um, You want to be optimistic and you want to you want to have things turn out well for the most part. I mean, everyone's life they want things to turn out well, but you know, you're always competing with someone else in everyday life, which is a fact. Like you're always in one way or another, you're competing for certain things and you gotta put in the effort to get what you want um, so kinda sitting back is like hard to kinda deal with like you're just supposed to like you're supposed to sit back and just let let someone approach you it's kind of a hard concept for me because it's like I'm very proactive kind of alpha female kind of individual and uh, basically like the, the book goes over like so many excuses about like all the excuses that the person gives for like distancing you like they're basically just telling you that they're just not that into you just not that into you <laughs> so um it's hard because there's a lot of talented skilled people in our world and I mean I will tell someone up front if if I'm not attracted to them or you know how I feel I think that that's really important to be like upfront with people but um <sighs> I wish I could be uh wish I could be I just mentally I just at a certain point just mentally shut down I'm like I gotta get back and like just lay down or something because Chicago is like too much for me and uh, I don't know like it wasn't like happy it was kind of crazy it was it was uh, I don't see myself living here I don't see myself living here at all I uh, I just dream of Cali so much California and uh, I don't see myself <laughs> here. I mean, you got people walking around like, like one one of them has a green juice in hand and a cigarette in the other. Like, what a contradiction is that? Like a health contradiction, you know? So there's just so much like cigarette smoke and like everything just seems dirty. It's just dirty, like. And you have to use public transportation and it just seems like it just seems like so exhausting 
and then like I was thinking about like well what if you lose your job you know if you lose your job then we're gonna put how are you gonna pack the little things that you have and try to find somewhere else to just like a whole run around but um yeah I guess there's like a lot of things to think about but um I haven't been able to really make a huge life decision on moving. I just don't feel, for whatever reason, I don't feel compelled to like move anywhere or do anything like totally out of the norm. Like, I don't feel like that compelled, compelling thing. Like, I'm I'm used to like how I'm doing things, so I'm not trying to change anything too drastic, but, um, I just, I want to get rid of this sadness in my soul, and I don't know how to do it, I just, I know that if I'm alone, like, if I'm truly alone, it'll just get worse, and I don't know how to get rid of it, I just, like, I just have this like sadness that I don't know how to get rid of it was just feeling lost and feeling um, just really isolated even though I was even though I was with people it was really hard so that's definitely how I felt today